Hi everyone, I'm going to be talking to you about a problem that I've had for the longest time and has been driving me crazy. If you spend upwards of a thousand dollars on your PC and maybe even more than 500 on just your graphics card just because you want that good performance and smooth experience on your new computer and you have a fast refresh uh, gaming monitor and a good mouse and all of that good jazz and you are still facing FPS drops, this is what I'm talking about. Now take a look at this game that I have right here. It is a very old game and my PC is more than capable of running it at a 333 FPS locked or 250 FPS. Now this lock matters a lot, especially in this game, because this is something that uses the Quake 3 engine and depending on what FPS you have, your movement, your aim, your maybe not your aim, but your hit rag and stuff like that is going to be extremely affected. And as such, it's a very important that you're able to lock this certain FPS and keep it there. Now take a look at this. Right here, my FPS is locked at 333. You can look at the top right. I have my frame rate graph as well. My GPU is not being used. My CPU is not being used. Everything is fine. However, the moment that I use my mouse, still, there's not much use on my CPU. There's not much use on my GPU. However, there's a lot of... Right? There's a lot of stutters and my FPS keeps going down and up and down and up. Now you would think, why is this happening? And the, the first solution that you would see online is to just open up your mouse's settings and turn that down as low as you can go. And in the short term, yes, that does fix the problem. You can see that I'm having stable FPS. I'm able to have a smoother experience overall. And my game doesn't give me a headache, basically. So if, if I'm able to do this, why is this not the solution? And it boils down to this. If the problem actually was that you are polling at a thousand hertz and this is not letting you letting your CPU do its job and buffer the frames to the GPU because the CPU is too busy trying to figure out what the mouse is doing, then yes, this is the problem. And this could actually be the problem if your CPU is not fast enough. However, if you have a decent CPU, which is more than likely if you've spent a lot of money on a good mouse and you have spent money on your mouse, meaning you want a smooth experience, this is not the solution. And this is doubly so when your monitor is faster than uh, 125 hertz or whatever that your mouse is capable of going, the lowest it's capable of going, basically. Because you are buffering your movement at a 125 updates per second meaning through the cpu you are only going to be seeing 125 updates a second however your monitor is running at a much higher rate and if you don't have vsync on which most likely you don't and the fps is still high however the fps is moving faster than you can move your mouse you're going to be seeing ghosting on both sides of your frames no matter what it is it's going to be a, a teary mess Especially if you do slow movements like this while moving around, this is, this, you can't play like this basically. Now, the next thing that you might try to do is to just isolate a part of your CPU to be dealing with your mouse and a part of your CPU to be dealing with the game and the GPU. And the GPU is of course going to be interfacing directly with the monitor, so this may seem well. And this means that your natural next solution would be to set your game to have the highest amount of resources possible so that it runs smoothly and yes it does solve other problems however it can introduce problems of its own i'm talking you have set this to the real time or whatever it is so it's using the most um, assigning more of your system resources to the game combined with lowering your mouse's polling rate can help fix certain issues namely the ones that you have with low fps however again this still is buffering my frames at 125 hertz and i don't like this because this this cpu is trying to sync all of this all together right and it turns out that the actual problem is that games that use directx 9 or directx 10 or 11 or the older versions of directx require to be run on full screen now nowadays modern games are designed to be run in borderless full screen because you have many overlays perhaps obs or discord or you have all of these things running on top of your game 
And of course, the first step there would be to open up Steam, find the in-game overlay, disable that, and most importantly, open up Discord, go down to Advanced, maybe turn off Hardware Acceleration, and of course, Game Overlay, and turn that off. This would help because there's less layers on your screen using your GPU in real time. And the right way to solve this is a solution in two parts. You should make sure that your game is not trying to sync your mouse movement to your games because, again, no. And the other part, the part that Windows has done for you, albeit wrongly, is to find the game's EXE. And you're gonna find, you're gonna click this button. And with that, you are going to disable full screen optimizations. This will make sure that the game will run in exclusive full screen and there's nothing, no kinds of overlays on top of it, nothing else trying to buffer the mouse's input or anything of that sort. And now, once you find your mouse's settings, you can turn it up all the way. And if you've done it right, you should be able to see that it is grayed out and enabled. And there we go even at 333 fps and the mouse is running at a thousand hertz i can move it all around and i can still have a decently stable experience now of course if i do some more performance improvements it should be able to run at a much higher fps but for now this has solved my biggest problem in that the game has been stuttering all the time whenever i have my mouse moving thank you for watching do subscribe